Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, I've been testing the microcode for the stupid computer and fixed a couple of problems, but I have one that is uh, somewhat perplexing. And I think I'll demonstrate that for you right now. I'm gonna power this thing on. Watch for the blink. Blink. Okay. <clears throat> what happens is that um, if I set the carry, if the carry gets set, then wacky things happen. So let me start. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to clear the carry. Okay. And this will make sense once I go. And then I say um, halt. Okay. And if I run that program, Start, start, by the way, I've been doing this and I haven't really ever explained it. Start, starts execution at the address set in the switches. So this will start it at location zero. That's why I reset all the switches to zero there. Start and boom, PC is one. Uh, and the instruction there is uh, the halt. So it actually did that. Or I can reset and step through that. There's clear carry. And then, boom, there is the uh, halt. OK. Um, now, if I change location 0 to set carry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is a, an F9, FF9. OK, so we'll put that in location 0 instead of the FFA, which was clear carry. And now I say start. Watch what happens. What's going on? OK, it's running is what's happening. That's why you see all those lights on. Um, and it's going to stop at some random location. You see it's just incrementing. Let me reset and go back to 0, and we'll step through it again. S instruction 0 uh, sets the carry. You saw that come on. OK, that's the FF9. And then the next instruction is a halt. But notice the PC has been incremented to two. So, and it goes to this, which is an instruction of zero is branch forward by zero instructions, which is to say branch to yourself. Okay, so it should just stay there. Even if it didn't do the halt, it should stay at this location and, but watch the PC, it went to four. It went to five, it went to six. And it seems like everything is being treated as a no-op. And I just, I'm mystified as to why that's happening. If only I had some way to examine See, I, I've got the front panel here, which is showing me the higher level registers, the PC, the AC, memory address, but I can't see the low level um, micro instruction address and the micro instruction, um, the actual micro instruction that's being fed into the machine or read out of the PROM, whatever. If only I had some way to do that. Uh, you know, I could set up something with the LEDs, and then I'd have to, instead of using the crystal, I'd have to single step it or something so I could see what was going on. But there's got to be a better way. Oh, wait. I didn't want to have to go there. But it looks like the logic analyzer is going to have to come out. Um, unpowering. So what I've done here, you can see, is I've swapped the top two boards. So the top board is now the microcontroller board, microcontroller and registers, um, as I recall. Um, so that'll make it easier for me to attach uh, to the uh, That'll make it easier to attach to the chips and 
try and see what's going on. So I'm going to pause the recorder at this moment, and we'll restart it when I have it all hooked up, which could be a week from now. I don't know. Okay, I've hooked up uh, a few lines here, because uh, this could show us something interesting. Uh, microcode address lines and the carry bit. Um, and you can see here that uh, it's running in the loop, which is the main loop of the microcode, um, where it's just waiting for uh, a switch to be pressed. So that goes 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and then back to 7. Um, and so there's 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, 7, okay. And so it's continuously doing that. Uh, but I have a trace defined, and that is when carry goes to 1, then we're going to capture the next, uh, whatever it is, 1,024 states, okay? So... We'll start that running. It's waiting for the state trigger. So I'm going to now enter my program. Two, three, four, one, two. Uh, which was FF, what was it? FF9 set carry, followed by FFF, which is halt. Okay. And start. Boom. It's got it. Okay. And I can stop this. <clears throat> so, let's have a look. E1 address E1 is the first one you see there. And that is coming out of the set carry instruction. E1. Okay, so we've just set the carry, and now we're branching to next instruction, which is 025. 025. Increment the PC. And we go to 026, checking stop conditions. Uh, so if you're single stepping or if you've pressed stop. So 26, 27, 28 branches to execute, which is 23. Then we go to 24, which is dispatch on high to main. Okay, and then we see it goes to 25, which did not dispatch. Uh, so there's the problem right there, is that somehow setting a carry breaks the dispatch instruction. Why that happens, I'm not sure. This will require more investigation. Stay tuned. Okay, continuing. Um, I've hooked up a few more <laughs> wires. Uh, the branch condition and the dispatch bits. Uh, and you'll see I also got rid of uh, the uh, all uh, states. So, um, again, we're in the main loop here. These are the branch conditions, and, you know, those are on the various switches, and obviously we're not dispatching. So, uh, I'm going to go back again to F, F9, F, F, F. Okay. And run that, waiting for state trigger, boom, trace complete. Okay, <clears throat> now maybe we can see what's going on. I don't know if those wires are in your way. E125, 26, 27, where's my code? Okay, looking at the microcode. Execute two th is the two three, and then we go to two four, which is supposed to be a dispatch. Okay, and that shows three and three. Condition three, condition three, 
That seems odd. I think a normal dispatch would be a condition zero. Let me see. Oh, well, let me see what the uh, dispatch. 3C0. No, so the branch condition is 3. Dispatch is C, which is uh, 1, 1, you know, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, yeah, 3. What is a 3? I forget. Three, that's branch on carry. Okay, I've got a bug in the microcode assembler, by golly. <laughs> because a dispatch, oh, okay, that explains it. That explains everything. All right, I think I've corrected things. <clears throat> Notice I'm disconnected from that uh, because the uh, microcode, <laughs> the, uh, the analyzer was connecting to pins on the microcode. Uh, ROM chips, and uh, I had to pull them out to reprogram them, so. Life's tough. Okay, let's try this. Set carry. FF9, followed by halt. Okay. And start. Boom. Okay, it halted. Ouch. Hurt myself. Uh, carry set, it halted. Uh, let's try... Uh, let's try this. Um, <clears throat> let's do set AC, F, F, two, set AC to all one, uh, and then uh, rotate left, F, E, D, and then loop forever. Oops, 101, okay. <clears throat> So this will, boom, set the accumulator to all ones, but the carry remains cleared. Now we're going to rotate left. <clears throat> that bit will go there. This zero will wrap around to here, assuming everything works, yes. And now we'll do it again, and we'll just keep going, and we can watch that bit march down and around. Didn't I do this once before? Didn't this work <laughs> before? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. And I turn that off it's just making noise we don't thank you your services are no longer required okay so um this took less than two hours to find and resolve this problem using the logic analyzer could i have found it without the logic analyzer of course uh, i already had an idea of what the problem was it was acting like like you know like i said once the carry is set it acts like a no-op um i could have tracked it down eventually but what would have been the fun in that? <laughs>